the reason that the biggest story in the country, if not the world, is this Google manipulation and brainwashing, the reason it's not the biggest story is because it hasn't been assigned. Let that sink in. The only reason it's not the headline story is that they haven't assigned it to anybody. We don't come up with independent opinions. It's not a thing. Opinions are assigned, and this isn't assigned. And until somebody assigns it and says, here's your opinion, we won't act on it, and we can't really deal with it. Here's something that just blows me away. And if this doesn't make your head spin, I haven't done enough work with you yet. (laughs) This should be... The following topic should make you feel unmoored from reality. It's that big. But it probably won't. Let me test it. It goes like this. Uh, Take your Google page, open Google, and type into the search box... Um, does Joe Biden have dementia? What you'll notice is that the autofill will never fill it. You have to type out the entire sentence, does Joe Biden have dementia? If you do that, you can get some results. Now go to Bing or DuckDuckGo. Start typing in, does Joe Biden have dementia? How far do you get before it autofills, does Joe Biden have dementia? You get to Does J. That's right. Does, and then the first letter of Joe Biden, autofills have dementia. Now, if you're Google, do you want people to know that the entire, that the most popular search is does Joe Biden have dementia? Now, is there any scenario you can imagine in which this happened naturally? No. No, you can't. Um, And so, given that it's public, you know, you you can just test it. I I tested it myself. I saw somebody tweet it, and I thought, "Uh, I better test this. Because, you know, it's the sort of thing you read, and then you think, I don't know if this is true. Because if it were true, it would be a huge, gigantic example that would be impossible to question that's election interference. Is there any way to not define that as election interference? Is there any lawyerly argument? And again, I'm being I'm trying to be open-minded here. If there was if if there were an argument for how this is not election interference, I would mention it even in the context of saying why I agreed with it or disagreed with it. As far as I know, There is no argument offered for why that would be legitimate. Can somebody fact check that? I'm not aware of any argument that says that's natural. And if it's not natural, it's generated by people, and it clearly has a tremendous effect on the national consciousness. Now, if what I say is true, and there's an obvious public Public being the key mind-blowing part of this. You don't have to do research. It's public. It's right in front of you. Why is this not the biggest story in the news? Because it's not the biggest story anywhere. It's the biggest thing, but it's not in the news. Why? Here's why, and you're not going to like it. Are you ready? We don't form our own opinions on politics. We don't form our own opinions. We believe we do. It's one of the great illusions of life. We believe that we're looking at sources, forming our own opinions. A little bit of that happens. But in general, you know, the the big picture is that your opinions on politics are assigned to you literally assigned it to you. So if you're watching more of the news on the right, they'll assign you a certain opinion and you will adopt it. If you're watching more of the news on the left, they will assign you your opinion and you will adopt it. Yeah, there are a few people who can think through that, but it's rare. In general, 
you are assigned your opinion. And here's, here's the part that will make your head blow off. The reason that the biggest story in the country, if not the world, is this Google manipulation and brainwashing, the reason it's not the biggest story is because it hasn't been assigned. Let that sink in. The only reason it's not the headline story is that they haven't assigned it to anybody. We don't come up with independent opinions. It's not a thing. Opinions are assigned, and this isn't assigned. And until somebody assigns it and says, here's your opinion, we won't act on it, and we can't really deal with it. It's like, if it hasn't been validated by the assigners of opinions, and I'm not one, so you know I'm not an official assigner of opinions. I can tell you about it. You can hear it. You can hear all the details. You can logically understand it. You can logically know this is a, a gigantic problem. I mean gigantic. Maybe one of the biggest problems of civilization. That's how big it is. Bigger than climate change, by far. It's not even close. If, if the citizens of the United States are being brainwashed to this extent, without their uh, agreement or understanding, would you agree that's bigger than climate change? Because that would affect everything. It would affect climate change. It would affect whether we go to war. It would affect the economy. It's by far the biggest story. But it's never been assigned to you. So you, so you don't hold it in your head as a big story. And even having heard it from me, it still won't be a big story. You will leave this periscope and it will leave your consciousness. But if it had been constantly on the news and social media, it would be the biggest topic in your mind. And you would think nothing was more important than that. You do not have opinions. They are assigned to you. All right. So if that didn't blow your head off a little bit, I don't know what would. <laughs>